Jack's Pop guy here today. It's Wednesday, my dude, so it's What's in the Box Wednesday, which means we got a mystery box to open. Um, I have a J Novel Toys box first to open today. Um, this box, it's from. This is from. Let's see when this is from. Doesn't have the date because it's actually a UPS tracking, I think. And for some reason, that doesn't have the date on it. It looks like April 7th, so about a month ago. Um, so, yeah, it's a mystery box. I don't remember. I don't have the information pulled up. I just didn't pull it up. I think it's either it's either a $50 or a $60 box, fully guaranteed. Potentially $100, but it likely $50 box. Um, so that's what we're going to shoot for. I don't remember what the top hits were, but if we get one, we'll probably know because it'll be expensive. Um, but, yeah. Uh... Yeah, I just, I don't remember. I ordered a couple J Novel boxes and they were both like the same price and I don't, and I think they shipped around the same date, so I really don't remember which one, which one's which. But, we're going to just go ahead and rip this bad boy open up right now. Got it pops right on top there. Alright, and we will be using the good old Funko app for our prices today. Go ahead and get that pulled up here. All right, let's go ahead and get in this box. Pop number one. And then a soft protector. Hopefully, it didn't pull out the the best pop first first go. But we have Man Bat um, from Batman, the uh, an animated series. Uh, this is a 2017 summer convention exclusive. Um, yeah, Man Bat. I don't know anything really about Man Bat other than he is from the animated series of Batman. Um, hopefully, yeah, it's kind of a cool pop, cool design. It kind of looks like one of the more like, kind of looks like the, uh, in a way, it looks like the new, uh, Chernabog pop from Fantasia. It's kind of weird how they kind of, they kind of look similar. Just different, um, like this one's brown, that one's like grayish, dark black. Um, but yeah, really interesting. Um, don't know anything about Man Bat. So yeah, let's we'll go ahead and get the price and see how much good old Man Bat's worth. And we'll keep our running total as we go. So Man Bat shared sticker is worth $17. So not bad. Not a bad pop. Hoping like no pops lower than that though. Because I don't, yeah, like I said, I don't remember if it, how much this box was, so. Maybe I'll look it up here once I'm done getting all the prices and we can see how we did. All right, pop number two in a soft protector is the Barnes & Noble exclusive Harley Quinn Broken Hearted. Oh well, yeah, it looks like Harley Quinn has a nice little dog with, with her. That is, it doesn't say, I don't think, it, unless the dog's name is Broken Hearted, which wouldn't make any sense. But this is from the uh, Birds of Prey movie, which is pretty much like the uh, Harley Quinn solo movie with a few other characters. But the main focus, as far as my understanding, was uh, Harley Quinn. I didn't see it. Um, just wasn't really, didn't really look that good to me. But I don't know. Some people said they liked it. Some people said they didn't like it. It's, it's a movie. There's going to be opinions both ways. But uh, yeah, um, this is another one that I really don't know anything about. I know they made a ton of these Birds of Prey uh, pops. There's just a lot that went with the movie line. And including a lot of Harley Quinns, and I know there's a lot of Harley Quinns um, out there that, in general, so I'm not thinking this one's going to be worth a whole lot because there are so many different Harley Quinns available, but um, yeah, cool pop nonetheless, the, the dog is probably the thing that I like the most, I don't know if the, if the dog's name is Broken Hearted, it doesn't, that wouldn't make any sense to me, because it looks like she has like the running mascara from looks like she's been crying, so that would make more sense for her being broken heart for her herself being broken hearted than the dog being a broken hearted. But anyway, let's go ahead and get the price for good old Harley Quinn broken hearted. Let's see, and Harley Quinn is worth eighteen dollars. So yeah, uh, not bad. Let's go ahead and add that into our total. That'll take our total up to thirty-five dollars, I believe. Yep, thirty-five dollars so far. So. Yep. With one pop left, let's see what we got left. Last pop uh, in a soft protector. All these were in soft protectors, which is nice. And we have here Hulk from uh, Age of Ultron, actually. So it's a Hot Topic exclusive, Age of Ultron Hulk. Um, the one thing I do know about the Age of Ultron pops is there's really not 
many that are worth a whole lot for some reason. Um, I think it's because it's probably the least popular Avengers movie. Um, it's, and, you know, in my opinion, it's the worst Avengers movie, but it's still good. I think the uh, events of WandaVision had made this movie, Age of Ultron, a little bit more relevant because it helps you understand a little bit more of Wanda and uh, Pietro, who, you know, he, he's dead. But uh, it, it helps you understand that a little bit more, like, like, want, like, because the, the way they made Wanda, like, seem in the uh, Age of Ultron, they just made her seem like, they didn't really give a good backstory, I think. But um, in WandaVision, they did a great job with the backstory on Wanda. So um, there was a whole episode where they pretty much, after Ag Agatha is revealed to be, you know, spoilers, by the way. Agatha is the one who been doing like the PHR and all that stuff they go through in Wanda's past. And that is a really good character development for Wanda, which I think makes her character in Age of Ultron a little bit better. So yeah, let's go ahead and get the price for Hulk Hot Topic exclusive. Hopefully we can scan this barcode. Yep. Alright, and Age of, oh, Age of Ultron Hulk. It's Hulk Rampaging. This is vaulted. Um, it's worth only $20. So, I mean, not bad, but, you know, not the best. Um, that's the most expensive pop out of the bunch. So let's go ahead and get our total. Our total is $55, which makes me think this was a $50 box. Um, yeah, this is actually a really cool Hulk. I actually don't really have any Hulks in my collection. I have a She-Hulk. I don't have a Hulk, so this may be a keeper, actually. I don't really mind this one, so I might actually keep this. Um, just looking at my Marvel shelf now. Yeah, I think I'll probably keep this, honestly. But the other two will be available on Makari. Um, just just going, judging off the contents of that box, I think this was a Janavo box that was a, a, it was a Marvel or DC box. Like, you pretty much got, it was either... Is like you're getting Marvel or DC pops in that, which these all were. These were all Marvel or DC, two DC, one Marvel. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hold on, before we do that, let me look at the let me look at this box. Let me look up how much this box was. So after looking it up, it was a um, fifty dollar guaranteed fully box. It was Marvel DC Grail Hunt box. So, uh, yeah, uh, we didn't get the top hit. Hulk was not the top hit. Um, I think the top hit was the uh, the picture didn't really show it because um, it's it's just not showing up. But, yeah, we didn't get the top hit. But, yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with that box. Those are two. The two DC pops were really cool. Uh, two pops I've never had before, which is always what I like to... When I get a box, I like to see pops I've never had before. And the Hulk is actually a keeper. So this is one of the first times in a while we've got a keeper out of a mystery box, which is really cool. Uh, I'm really happy with that um, But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video if you did enjoy the video Make sure you hit the like button and if you want to see more from us. Uh, we post every Monday Wednesday and Friday um, So yeah Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you get notified every time we do upload a new video um, and Look forward to soon. We will be uh, We're going to be taking a trip to Disney World. So we'll be doing some special videos there we're not just not just Disney World. We're gonna be hitting a lot of local shops down there. They have a lot of cool local comic book shops. They'll be carrying comics, pops, other types of figures. So be on the lookout. We plan to film a couple videos when we're down there. Um, we haven't decided what kind of videos, but most likely just like a at the end of the day haul of videos if we do get some stuff. Um, those will probably come out after we get back though. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.